All right, so take the fear out of FOMO. An art show is celebrating the joy of missing out or JOMO. I love JOMO. Joining us now is Chicago artist Kathy Halper to share the message behind her show at the Evanston Art Center. Welcome, Kathy. Hi, thank you. Okay, Sarah and I are guessing we understand the message, which is, <laughs> you know, JOMO. Uh, so how did this idea come to you? You must really enjoy missing out. Oh, oh I do. It's, it's a big <laughs> part of my life. <laughs> um, I didn't come up with it. Of A friend, I was kind of trying to find a name for my show, and about six months ago, a friend mentioned that this was a thing and she lives on the east coast so they always know things first oh. and <laughs> or they said, think they do well <laughs> and as soon as i heard it i was like oh my goodness that that is not only the name of my show that is my mantra that is my reason for living and obviously <laughs> it's a reaction to fomo which has been very popular for many yeah, years mm -hmm. and i think i think it's sort of born out of the pandemic where we all sort of experienced uh, these quieter lives and um you know, I like to say that um, I love my friends dearly. I just hate having to see them because that <laughs> involves getting dressed and putting on makeup. I mean, it you know, is. These, it's a whole thing. these things are very, very hard for me these days. So, um, so I'm embracing who I really am. Oh, so, <laughs> how does art. this then, Kathy, connect to the art show in the series that you did? So about. Three years ago, I started this body of work during the pandemic, which, by the way, every artist started a series during the during pandem mm -hmm. pandemic. Um, but I really was so focused on how small my life was. Ah. And it was, you know, taking the dog for a walk every day. And I felt like I was seeing houses for the first time. Like I was actually seeing something new every day. And it felt like really wonderful. And yeah. or being, you know, on the couch with my husband and or another family member and just appreciating the intimacy of that moment or, or the distance of that moment. And so I started thinking I wanted to do work that sort of documented this. I've always been a huge fan. There's a, there's a line from the play Our Town mm -hmm. where the person says, does any human being ever realize life while they live it? every, every moment. Oh. And I heard that when I was 16 and I've carried that wow. with me as like my, like I think yeah. that's the most beautiful sentiment and very corny, I know. No, it's no. beautiful. <laughs> yes. Yes. So here I am finally <laughs> feeling like I'm living that way. And it's, it's, it's for me, it's a very joyful thing. I, I feel like I'm able to appreciate small moments. And I think of myself as a storyteller, even though I'm doing visual work. And mm -hmm. so these are all narratives I'm telling. And I want to be like a diarist where I'm documenting my life as I'm living it every, well, every moment. Even as you're talking here, you just reeled Sarah and I in. I mean, <laughs> we can tell that you feel all of this to your core. Yeah. And, and then, of course, it's at the end of your paintbrush. Let's talk about the style of your art. It's yeah. different in that it's a little bit 3D. You know, it's going outside of the frame. Like the buildings aren't necessarily, they don't look as though you would see them in real life. Can yes. you talk a little bit about that? Sh sure. So um, I very much wanted the work to, um, okay, so here's, <laughs> let me let's try yeah. this. <laughs> I have in my mind the, what the painting is going to look like. And a lot of times it's not, like if I'm thinking about a room or a space outside, mm -hmm. it's not what reality would allow. Like there's a dresser over here and I want that in the painting, but there's no way if I'm looking that way, it's gonna right. make it in the painting. And so I've just given myself creative permission to tilt things and stretch things and make sure that what I want gets in there. Um, so that's where I've come in with these very stretched perspectives, warped perspectives mm. as sort of making the space my own. Um, and as a result of that, I've had people say things to me like they feel a little, um, they get a little anxious from, you know, they can feel very busy or, or sort of lopsided. And, and I came to realize that, well, I'm a very anxious person. <laughs> so that also is a part of me. It's, it's just part of the brand. So um, the pieces that we're looking at here are, are the pieces that I've done with 3D elements. So I kind of Love go it. back and forth between some that are three-dimensional, some that are not. And I like to use very modest materials because these are very modest stories. So I work with things like cardboard because thanks to online shopping, I always have cardboard. <laughs> and it feels really good to, you know, make make use yeah. of it, right? But I also am an old craft gal from way back and I've mm -hmm. made Halloween costumes for kids for 30 years. So I've got embroidery thread and glitter oh, and all plays, the all the things, yes. all the things. And those are the things that I like to use to build up these layers. And this is all just part of my storytelling where I'm trying to direct the viewer 
to follow the story the way I want them to. And so I pop things out like a remote control or an mm -hmm. iPhone, you know. Um, it's beautiful. Kathy, <laughs> you're a stunning artist. You did such an amazing <laughs> job, and people can come see you. Yeah. Jomo, the joy of missing out, goes on from now until February 18th. You guys, it's at the Evanston Art Center. You can learn more about Kathy's art by heading to her website. It's kathyhelper.com. Gorgeous work, Kathy. Thank, Thank you, Kathy. Thanks so much for having me.